Welcome back, you beautiful people. Unwritten fashion rules in MTB. There are some out there and I break this one constantly. Can you guess what it is? We'll find out in this video. Baggy jeans, baggy pants, things like baggy jeans and stuff. Yes, when it comes to free ride, you can wear it because they're way more durable when it comes to a crash. They don't rip as quick as normal riding pants. But the main thing about wearing baggy pants is they can get caught up in your chain when you're riding along. Also, when it comes to a day like today, it's gonna be super hot, uncomfortable, heavy. They don't breathe as much, you'll sweat a lot. And when they become wet, they restrict your leg movement. That's one thing when it comes to riding. You don't want to restrict these legs because it's a mountain bike at the end of the day or it's a bicycle and you need to use your legs to pedal it to make it move around. Baggy jeans. Hmm. Don't break that fashion rule. Don't be like this guy right here in these big black baggy jeans. Look at him. Whoa. I, I don't bet know why. He is roasting. I don't know why things. it's hot. I've got my favorite pants on. Unwritten fashion rule, this one I break constantly. Have you guessed what it is yet? Well, it is a cotton tee, just like this JMBN one right here. I ride in these constantly, but it is an unwritten fashion rule. Why? Because, you know, they're not really tech enough because it, it retains the heat, retains the sweat. It gets uncomfortable after long rides out there on the trail. Why don't you just opt out for some tech tee, just like this one? Whoa, yeah, like this tech tee right here. It's breathable, it dissipates the heat a lot better. It's lightweight, it's long sleeve. So when it comes to a hot day like this, yes, it's gonna be hotter, but it's protecting your skin from the sun. Now this one right here, you can actually get this in our GMBN shop and, uh, if you wanna support us. It's a great way of doing that. Tech tea. I do love this tea. Love it. Comes in multiple colors. Yeah. Dear, look at my bling. Looking all fancy in the sunlight. Freaking, yo, my eyes. Got all my faves. Got my eyes on you, bruh. God, it's going to make me way quicker out there. Don't know about you, but I actually quite like that one. And that one right there. It is a bit clumbersome though. It's an un unwritten fashion rule. Big jewelry, especially chains and stuff. If you love wearing your chain, tuck it in. Because if you don't, it's all dangling around and stuff. It could get caught on something and can pull you off the bike or end up being in a choky situation and it's not very nice. But when it comes to oversized fingerings, just like these ones, on the bars can be very uncomfortable and become a little bit of a hindrance as well. You could get caught up on something. Even if when you crash, all these can dig into your skin and cause a, a D glove. I've seen that done before. Actually, it's happened to me with my wedding ring. I've pulled my wedding ring out of my skin, but I take the risk because it is special to me. But all the rest, yes, they can be special to you, but take them off when you go riding, put them in your bag, leave them in the car, leave them at home, and you can put them back on when you're off the bike. Big jewelry. Mmm. Ah, oh, dear. What a day for chilling, man. Drop it in. Oh. What are you doing? No, whoa, what are you doing? No. Yeah. Where's your helmet, Doug? No, I'm just chilling, Doug. Right. I'm not doing just anything chilling. else. Just, just riding. One way of getting hurt, quick. Right. Yeah, go get your okay. helmet. You're not, dude, I don't, no. Wear a helmet. I'll go get it. Yeah, go get it. <sighs> Idiot. Helmets are fashionable. Not, not wearing a helmet is super unfashionable, but extremely dangerous. Always wear a helmet, no matter what. If you're going to the shops or just down the road to pick up some things or run some errands, always wear a helmet. Why? Because you've only got one head. If you bang it, that's it. You don't want to bang it. Look after that perfectly beautiful Swede of yours and just wear a helmet. It's very unfashionable. I wouldn't even say it's a fashion or unfashion. It's just wear a helmet. What a beautiful day. Oh, finally. Man, is this enough? Getting prepared. Getting really prepared for winter. What are you wearing? No. Enough? Too much? You're going to boil in that. I don't think so. No, it can't be asked with you. No. My black GMB and coat. 
waterproof coat, race jersey, long sleeve, and a base layer. And a base layer under here, long socks. Never be too cautious, dude. Even though it's really hot and I'm sweating, but take it off. Overdressing yourself. Now, don't go be putting every single layer on under the sun on a warm day. It's the quickest way to, to overheat, be super uncomfortable, and cause dehydration. It's all about smart layering. I know you need to be super, super prepared when you head up into the mountains because the weather can change. It's all about that smart layering. Don't be like this guy. You never be too prepared. Now this one I do see more often than not, and that is wearing a full face helmet, right? With riding glasses. A full face helmet is more for the goggles, you know? It's all about full face and goggle, not full face and glasses. But what about like this, full face and glasses, but your goggles are on your helmet. What's that all about? No, no, don't be like that guy. Yes, I know it's effective and you are protecting your eyes no matter what, be it if it's riding glasses or goggles. But come on, it's a fashion thing. You don't wear goggles on an open face and you don't wear glasses on a full face. So here's my oi, number. Move, oi. Call me, maybe. Oh, move. What are you doing? Why are you on your phone? Sorry, man. Flapping. Changing the, yeah. changing the tune. Oh, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yo, dude, coming through. Coming through. Oi. I'm coming through. Excuse me. Oi. What is this bloke doing? No. One very unfashionable thing. I just dislike it a lot. And that is wearing headphones out there on the trail. It's very dangerous. You need to know and need to hear what's going on around you, your surroundings for potential hazards, other trail users, and also you need to hear what you, what's going on with your bike. Something could be loose, could be wrong, and it could fall apart whilst you're going right down the trail. It's unsafe to wear headphones whilst riding along. Sorry. Right, I'm gonna stereotype a little bit right now. What is it with e-bikers with multiple accessories on the handlebars? Yeah, okay, I have, I've got a few accessories, but they're all functional. I have my Garmin, I have a bell on my gravel bike, I have a light on there as well. But when it comes to multiple accessories, like your mobile phone, your Garmin, a light, another light, a bell, another Garmin, a bag, a, a, a front mounted bag. Now, what is with all of these accessories on bikes? Make it simple. Why have all of this? It's just an stuffed, to take your mind off of what's going on in front of you and you're looking down at data or whoever's texting you, like your mum. No, don't break that rule. Get rid of some of them. Oh, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready for it. What have you done there? Do you know what that's called, mate? Do you know what that's called? That's called the noob gap or gap. Yeah, no, forget about the sun. Stop doing that. Bring on the trails. Uh -uh. <sighs> you don't like it. What's wrong? What's wrong with this? It's hot shorts, man. Now this one needs to be avoided at all costs. Now I, I get it. You've bought a pair of riding shorts and they're a little bit too short, but you still head out there with your knee pads on and that gap, the gap between the top of your knee pad and the hem of your short leaves a bit of skin. Now that there, my friends, is a bit unfashionable and frowned upon when you're out there on the trails. A bit like what I'm wearing right now. Don't do it. Thank you very much for watching this incredible video. Hopefully it's giving you an insight about some unfashionable things in mountain biking. There's a lot more out there. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any unfashionable things out there that us mountain bikers shouldn't do. But remember, rules are there to be broken. Smash them. I still ride in a cotton tee. I'll see you next time. See ya.